country. But there's one caveat there. And Scott Taylor said, we're leading and we, we're sharing our best practices on what we do in Portland except for one area. And that one area is with African American youth. Mm -hmm. And gangs, we cannot get over that hump. But because our numbers are so high in other places, that that number doesn't really touch the recidivism rates. And so we're looked as very smart folks. And so I said, okay, what do you think uh, we can do? Have you all tried to talk to any of those, those, those young people? And he said, no. I said, well, I'll tell you what. We're gonna have a town hall meeting. And it's gonna be with African American men from the ages of 12 to 24, and we'll invite them in. These are not necessarily um, gang impacted youth, but just you. Tell me what you need to succeed. As a county government, we're a social service agency, and we're here to be that safety net, but we do have the ability to plug folks in through our reentry programs, through getting mental health services, uh, doing wraparound services for rent assistance, and those kinds of things. I want to talk to these folks. I want to know what they want. May 17th, in this room, we had over 300 and some odd people here. And I don't, is the sheriff here? <laughs> I don't want him to, uh, to go back on that and cite me, but we were over the capacity limit. We had people who were wrapped around the building. I told Chair Kogan when we came down, he gave the welcome. And I said, oh my God. I said, if we had 50 people, I'd be really, really happy with this. But we had a standing room only crowd, students sitting right here standing and talking with us. But the reason why this is so important and why it's so key, I had been asked by other community leaders to have this conversation in a church or a community-based organization, and I told them no. And the reason why I told them no is because, as many of you have suggested, this is the seat of power. This is where it happens, right here, not on the second floor or the fourth floor, where I oftentimes see our young people going on parole and probation to check in. This is where it happens. I want them to know that this is their house, that they can come in here and they can tell us what they need. And as a result of that meeting, what we found was these kids wanted summer jobs. We didn't have a summer jobs program before I got here, and we have made progress. Me, along with the rest of the board, we have voted on dollars to quadruple the number of summer jobs for low-income kids and kids of color. I can say we have made some progress in Multnomah County. Uh, 